Welcome to Love Life from episode. Yes, which of my look? Terrible. No. about to meet a cute guy. Is this the right look for me? Wear it! <laughs> Looking good, Shady. You about to meet a cute guy. This look is hot. Is this the right look for me? Looking good, Shady. Oh heck yes. Part one. Welcome to New York. I'm finally here. Watch out! Whoa! Hang on, I got you. I, I thought for sure I was going to fall. Catching you was the least I could do after running you over. I'm Ethan, by the way. Hi, I'm Shady. Listen, I feel terrible about knocking you over. How can I make it up to you? Well, 20 bucks cab fare to my new apartment. Something way better than that. It just so happens that you're looking at a born and raised New Yorker. I'd love to show you around. Ethan? Who's she? Sydney. What's going on here? Oh, hi. I'm. Excuse me, was I talking to you? Sydney, this is Shady. She just moved here. No time to chat. I'll see you tonight. Eh? Yep, I'll be there. Perfection. Toodles. So shady, that wasn't a very warm welcome. It's cool, at least you're nice. At least and I would really love to show you around the city. Seriously, aren't you sick of all the tourist spots? Actually, no, I've never been to any. When you're on and when you're a native, you miss out on all that stuff. Like, like wearing these t-shirts. Oh my god, you guys are the cutest couple I've ever seen. Love the matching tees. <laughs> See, we look awesome. 
Come on. We'll go to the Statue of Liberty, Times Square, Coney Island. What do you say? Rain check. Sure. But you at least have to let me buy you a drink at my favorite spot. Come on. Welcome to the spot. Best bar in the city. This place is great. We think so. Zo! Hey, Romy. This is your friend. This is Shady. She just moved here. Which means she's in the market for cool new friends to show her the ropes. Don't worry, girl. We'll have you walking, dressing, and dating like a New Yorker in no time. Did you also grow up here like Ethan? Oh, I'm from all over the place. My dad's in the military, so we moved around a lot. I was born in Panama. Then we moved to Journey. After that was Ohio, Oregon, then high school. We split between Croatia and North Dakota. Whoa, that's a lot of places. Too many. I never want to move again. I came here for art school a few years ago, and I don't think I'll ever leave. If it isn't my favorite customers, what can I get you at all? I'll just take a beer bee. And a spicy margarita for me. So, new girl, where'd the roomies find you? Actually, Ethan sort of ran me over with his bike. Leave a teeth and a suit cute girl and swerve. And then actually get you to come out to the spot with him. Well, he told me this place was the best. Thanks, I'm Brandon. I own this place. Hey, Brandon, I'm shady. Between you and me, I'm feeling a major spark between us. You're friends with Ethan. How can I get close to him? Good question. Let's see. Ethan's always volunteering to taste my new drink recipes. He says he's going doing it to be nice, but I think he just really likes fancy cocktails. <laughs> Actually, we're having a special cocktail tasting event tonight. Really? Yeah, but it's a VIP event and we're completely sold out. Oh, bummer. But hey, you're new in town. You deserve a break. Tell you what, if you want to come, just give me a call and I'll get you on the list. Thanks, Brandon. I'll let you know. So Ethan tells me you had a pretty dramatic morning. So he definitely knows how to make an entrance. I believe it. Thought it was up. Ring, ring. Sorry, it's my mom. So I met Sydney. Uh-oh, jealous call from Barbie. I met in that one, great. So then she is Ethan's girlfriend. With those two, it's impossible to say. They've been on and off since I met Ethan. Lately, it seemed like they're on the rocks. Oh, I see. Another round? Wish I could, but my new roommate's expecting me. Another time? I'm gonna hold you to that, Shady. Definitely. See you later, Shady. This is it. You? Oh, hell no. You're the shady who's rexing Lance's room. You're my new roommate? I don't think so. I prefer not to live with boyfriends stealing randos. Wait, what? Bye. Ugh. What am I gonna do? I have no place to live. Oh God, I don't even have anywhere to sleep tonight. I better call someone for help. Call Zoe. Shady, what's up? Zoe, thank God you're there. Listen, my roommate turned out to be Sydney. She kicked me out and now I have nowhere to go. Oh, see, typical, typical psycho Barbie behavior. But hey, don't worry about this, Shady. I got the perfect solution, at least for tonight. Be at the spot in 15 minutes. Ethan will meet you there. I could have called Brandon. Hmm. Ethan? What exactly am I doing here? Zoe said you didn't have about where I could stay tonight. She does, and it's perfect. Look up. See those windows on the top floor? Yeah, what about them? That's where I live. What does this spot that's so cool? I'm glad you think so, because you're staying the night. <laughs> this is it. Home sweet home. My humble love boat and for the night are yours. We're actually looking for a new roommate, so this works per perfectly. Zoe, seriously, you're the best. Not so fast. Ethan and Zoe made vouch for you, but this space is sacred. The three of us live together perfectly. We're soulmate friends. 
We take this whole romance thing very seriously. Basically, she's saying you can stay the night, but if you want to make this permanent, you gotta prove you can hang. Got it? Oh, totally. I can definitely hang. Hey, in that case, welcome. I'm Isabel, by the way. So nice to meet you. Enough to chat. Let's show you where you're staying tonight. Holy, wow. Like it? It's incredible. Oh, oh it is. This is Noah's room. He's on tour with this band right now. But it's all yours for tonight. Won't she freak out when she finds out I slept over with Ethan? Don't worry about Sid, I'll hand to her. Okay, if you're sure, then I'll stay with him for the night. Yay, we're going to have so much fun. Ring, ring. It's Sydney. I better take this. Ugh, not her again. Sid, hey. Okay, is it just me or does Sydney have crazy eyes? At least we won't have to deal with her for long. I mean, come on, it's Ethan. What's that supposed to mean? Bzz, bzz. Is? What is it? Uh-oh. What? Who's that? My boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend is ex, and you broke up with him. So why do you torture yourself by getting notifications every time he posts a new pic? Now get it together before you scare off Shady. Before we even get a chance to find out if she's roommate material. It was a really intense breakup. They did it for like two weeks. Most magical two weeks of my life. Okay, have we already forgotten that Tevin categorically sucked? I just wish there was somebody I could take my mind off of him. You know, back home I went through a really bad breakup. He did? Yep, the only thing that helped me get over my ex was... Pampering yourself and getting surrounded by your best friends is the best thing to do. I'm gonna get a girl's night. Stop her thing. Totally. Oh my god, we have to do this. A super girly night. Body and set box. It's the only way I'll ever get over my ex. But wait, that sounds awesome, Shady. So it's kind of perfect because she just called to say she'd be three hours late. Tough. Okay, so I'll have to come tomorrow's night, though. So you guys need funny girls, too, y'all. Maybe we can find a new show to bed in flush. Oh, okay, so no girls on it. I guess that would have been fun, but I'm sure there'll be other opportunities definitely. TV it is. Did that just hit him in the face? No. <sighs> Ew, did she just yawn? Someone's head for my room. Hello? What were you doing in my bed? Your bed? Hold on, you must be Noah, and you are shady. Are you supposed to be there or something? Cancelled. Look, usually I'd love to find a hot girl in my bed, but I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna have to continue this tomorrow. That's pretty forward of you. No bed head, just forward. Or not forward, just beyond. Wow, you move fast, tripping already. You don't expect me to sleep in my toilet clothes, do you? I expect you to sleep in something. Not sleep naked, that's the only way. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Move over, will you? I'm exhausted. Wait, you're sleeping right next to you. I've unlocked a new story. You know what that means. And I can add another one. Let's do It Starts With a Bell. Check it my back. Bad boys. So easy to spot them. We've got that look. Yeah.
sweet, sweaty abs. Is that your new neighbor? I know, I know. You promised Caitlin you never swear, but that doesn't stop me. Damn, she's hella hot. Don't you think? What's your first name? Shady. Yes, obviously. Hmm, she's sexy. She's sizzling, but she knows she's hot. We live in Sunless, Oregon, and she's moving one box. Why no shirt? How girls like her are not to be trusted. They'll rip your heart out, and oh my god, she dropped something. She's bending down. And there's that astastic review. Shady, it's a sign. It's senior year. Time to grab life by the boobs. Probably hers if she'll let you. I swear off anything like that, remember? Was that waiting for me? Clearly it was for you. Now I've got my mission to hook you up. No way. Not interested. See, my bad girl hate was just about the hot new girl. Something happened to me last summer. Something bad. So if I'm lucky, I'll never have to lay eyes on my new neighbor again. Mm. No, V, I haven't seen Hottie McCheese Ball since this afternoon. And I'm going to bed now, so can I? <gasps> Stare at naked girls. I'm at alone. That's my night every night. No, the hot girl next door is naked. I can see right into her room, or room from my window. <gasps> Share talking mushrooms. I think she just saw me. Call me back on video chat. I need visuals. Later, V. Eek, what do I do? Blow her kiss. Nighty night, stupid hot girl. What the? This isn't what I ordered. Um, I definitely did not order this. Oh my god, her packages got switched. Oh, girl, my bra. And she's with Dale, and she has, ah, and she's with Dale and Merrick, and she's Thatcher. What is this? A hot people convention? Dylan is Johnson High's golden boy, and the hottest guy in school. I can't believe he's seeing my bra. Yes, I want to change my golden boy's look. He looks wretched. He looks perfect. Nice bra. If you enjoy what goes in them. Hand it over. Come on out. Give it back. No way. I'm keeping it. Payback for spying on me. You're stealing my bra. That's illegal and perverted. So come get it back. I could have you arrested. 
come over here and we could play detective beneath the sheets. Like, I'd want to be in the bedroom with the three of you. Isn't that every girl's dream? Are you always such a jerk? Come and get it. I'll fly it from the school flagpole. You wouldn't dare. She really would. Look, jerk face, or whatever your name is. It's Alex, Alex Ryder. Of course it is. I am not wasting time on a bunch of sweaty, horny meatheads. Have fun playing with someone else's underwear. Her loss. Bummer, I really wanted that bra. Ugh, mosquitoes are less annoying than bad girls. Hey! Pledge allegiance to your bra. I can't believe my bra is hanging from the flagpole. Huh. Morning, bra girl. Nice to see your face today. Enjoying having your underwear on display. Slime sucker. And talk about slime. There's Tiana. Sorry about listening, night, Shady. You should have kicked Alex's ass. I would have paid to see that. Wait, you know my name? We've had classes together since we were eight. So I guess you're not too mad about your bra. Feel free to step out of my bedroom any time. I have bras to spare, but I want it off the flight pole. No. How do you guys even know her? She just moved here. She used to live here. I've been bras since preschool. And let's make it up to you. Come to my party tonight. I don't do parties, so I don't do curls. But I still hang with them. Alex will be there. It's a chance to get back at her. Is she still her underwear? Not possible. She probably took a commando. Ew, no thanks. Think about it. Hope to see you tonight. So? Dylan invited me to his party tonight. What time are we going? Never o'clock. The creepy mature brown efforts, and I'm not interested in partying. Shady, come on. You can't torture yourself forever. It's been almost a year. <sighs> the anniversary of that night makes it worse. I know. Hey, do it for me. There'll be tons of fresh meat later, and I have to find my letter J. You and your alphabet hookups. Fine. You helped me survive this past year, V. I owe you. Party! But first, there's something I need to do. Ugh. I want my bra back. Like World War wardrobe in here. How do you find anything in this closet? Try this. You need to look amazing. Nah. This is a major social shop. You're right. It's the first place you've been to since exactly every doable person in school will be there. And you want to look fab, but they're probably all cruel. Why? They're making this look like this. And just why else would you ask you? It's possible, but only because I didn't drop at his feet like all the other girls. What about Alex? He's trying to shoot belly at you by stealing your bra. Seeing the whole party worship at your feet will make you feel her feel like a real dick. It would show her who's boss. Besides, if you look good at her, you could even be my wing woman for the little J. Sold. Um, sis, no. This outfit isn't happening. I don't have diamonds. I want to be comfortable if I'm forced to go be sociable. Hey, Shady. Sure you're going to support tonight? Good to know you're still a royal perf writer. I totally get all perfect with that girl, just saying. Really, V? It only took three seconds and she's already waking up with two other girls in the corner. You cannot trust girls like that. They're like dogs, but without the loyalty. Hold up. I just bought James, Jason, and Julie all in one corner. Let me go see if I can get their attention. Tiana, I detest this girl. I should tell her what I think of her. Tiana, I wonder what that smell was. Nice to see you too, Shady. I haven't seen you out and about since that night. I know, Tiana. Don't remind me. Glad to see you're taking it so well. Excuse me, I have better things to do. Like, pull out my fingernails. Seeing Tiana here was hard. It took me right back to that night. 
isn't I a Roy Backos? Fudgeberries, fish sticks, my shoes! Oh. First Tiana, now this. Hey, sorry girl, come with me. We were cursing up a storm back there. Some real Jira did stuff. I promised I swear I promised I swear I wouldn't swear. So I don't. Just like I don't do parties. Well, I only do this one if I don't want time with you. In that case, I'm happy it came. It would have been a shame to miss my own party. Good answer. Well, I should go. Let me help you down. Thanks. Can I walk you home? Since I think a party for you, there's no point in staying if you're going. Sure, why not? Ah, oh, where were you? I got inspired, had to take care of something. That involved mauling a couple of girls in the corner. You still mad at me for stealing the bra, Shady? You shouldn't have stared at me naked. I did not stare at you! You were putting your face for the whole neighborhood to see. Look, give me my bra back, Alex. I will never steal one of your bras again. I'll try some new ones, so I don't know that. Let's go down. Okay, everyone, that is the end of this episode. I'm going to leave off here. I will see you in the next episode.